today we're going to be talking about the fires that are burning in Colorado. I've been covering all the California fires here and now looks like they're spreading all the way over to Colorado. They got a lot of grass fires that's burning a whole lot of acres over there. If you like this video when we're done, please give it a thumbs up. Colorado fire grows by over 100,000 acres in just one day. It hits the Rocky Mountain National Park. Hopefully the firefighters will be able to get this contained. Here's a image of the blaze going along it looks like it's burning through like prairie land grassland already battling the largest fire in state history colorado is now dealing with another blaze that grew by more than 10 100 000 acres in just 24 hours the flames traveled east fueled by beaten beetle eaten pine trees and dry winds hundreds evacuated the fire jumped the continental divide conditions forced the closure of rocky mountain national park yeah those Bark beetles like that will kill a tree, eat the bark off it, and drill holes through it and kill the tree. We got a major problem like that in California, and there's also a lot of the forces are dead in Montana that way. The fire called East Troublesome after a nearby creek has spread to more than 125,000 acres. Smoke plumes stretch 40,000 feet in the air. The nearby town of Grand Lake was forced to evacuate. East Troublesome is now the fourth largest wildfire in Colorado record. It started on October 14th, but overnight Wednesday, it quadrupled in size. That's unreal. The growth that you see on this fire is unheard of, Grand County Sheriff's said during a Thursday press conference. We plan for the worst. This is the worst of the worst of the worst. And no matter how we look at it, we can't control Mother Nature. The cause of the fire is still under investigation. Three of the five largest fires in Colorado history are from 2020. The state has battled its largest fire in history for more than two months, just west of Fort Collins. The fire named Cameron Peak continued to burn and has spread to about 207,000 acres. It is 55% contained. By the end of September, nearly 100% of the state was experiencing some level of drought, up from 51% since the beginning of the calendar year, according to a monthly report from the Colorado Climate Center. High wind and low humidity conditions will make it easy for the fire to spread further. Incident Commander for Pacific Northwest Team 3, Noel Livingston, said, We anticipate another day of large fire growth, he said. It is possible that the East Troublesome Fire could connect with the Cameron Peak Fire, Livingston said. Cameron Peak has also burned into the Rocky Mountain National Forest. Yeah, you get two fires together and now it combines one. You got a real large amount of land has burned. Let's conclude your update on some Colorado fires burning. I might do another update on this. If you want to subscribe to my channel, subscribe and ring the bell for the latest news. Please give this video a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.